So Bradford City have today confirmed that left-back Matty Folds has left the club on a permanent basis. He has joined Harrogate Town for an undisclosed fee. In today's video, I will be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on this news. If you do go on to enjoy, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 70 likes on today's video, that would be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed to if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this departure. Bradford fans, Harrogate fans, let me know down below. Now, this does potentially leave us a little bit light in the left-back department because it is still my understanding Clark Adore has not been brought in to play left-back. He wants to play as a number 10 or on the wing. So that leaves Liam Rydaug now as our only natural left-back. Obviously, Clark Adore can play there. You could probably put Kieran Kelly there if you need him to because obviously he is left-footed. But if you're playing a back four and you only got Liam Rydow as your left-back, it certainly does leave the door open for another left-back to come in. I do think now we still do clearly need a first-choice left-back to come in. I personally am quite happy with this news to see Matty Folds move on, to be honest with you. Now, don't get me wrong. In my opinion, he is better than Liam Rydow, but at this stage in both of their careers, I think Rydow is 32 and Matty Folds is 25. When it, comparing them ages, Matty Folds is not going to want to be a backup at that age. He's going to want to go out and play first-team football. It seems like, and I don't want to be making stuff up here but there seems to be maybe not a fallout but a disagreement between Folds and Mark Hughes obviously what happened in January where Talaji Bull was brought in to provide a bit more competition for Matty Folds because Liam Rydow constantly had injuries and all that sort of stuff Matty Folds clearly saw that and didn't want to take the challenge on and try and really compete for that left back spot he pushed for a loan move ended up going out on loan to Harrogate Town it has today been confirmed that that has been made in it to a permanent transfer now before we go any further in today's video just a couple of hours ago I reacted to my League One table predictions so please make sure to go check that video out if you have not already make sure to drop a like on there for me subscribe if you are new as well and let's get into it so Bradford City tweeted today at 5pm saying news. Matthew Folt has today completed a permanent move to Harrogate Town for an undisclosed fee. Thank you for your efforts and all the best at Matty Folds. The article does then read Folds departs permanently. Matty Folds has completed a permanent move to Harrogate Town for an undisclosed fee. A former City Academy prospect, the left-back returned to the University of Bradford Stadium in January 2021. I think he only made three or four appearances in that season. He was played quite a lot at defensive midfield. In total, he made 52 appearances in Claret and Amber. Bradford City AFC would like to take this opportunity to thank Matty for his efforts as a bantam and wish him the very best for the future. So short and sweet with the article, but normally when there is a departure, unless it's like someone like Andy Cook's going to leave, then normally it is quite a short article. Harry at Town then obviously tweeted at 5pm saying, we are thrilled to announce the return of left-back Matty Folds. The 25-year-old has signed a two-year contract with the club. Their article does then read, Folds becomes our third summer signing. We are delighted to announce the return of left-back Matty Folds for an undisclosed fee from Bradford City. The 25-year-old is no stranger to town, having spent the final six months of last season on loan with the club. In this time, the left-back played a key role in the defensive sol solidity, which the side displayed as we secured a 19th place finish last season. Having put pen to paper earlier today, Folds will remain a part of Simon Weaver's squad for at least the next two seasons. A product of the Berry Academy, the fullback has enjoyed spells with Everton, Como and most recently Bradford City. During his time with the Bantams, Folds made over 40 appearances and found the back of the net on two occasions. Speaking with uh, with the club's website, Folds said, I am delighted to be here on a permanent basis now. I've been in contact with the gaffer since last season finished. Speaking to him, I quickly realised that his aspirations are very similar to what I want for this club. I'm not too sure what they are. They want in promotion in this upcoming campaign. We'll have to wait and see. It's always nice to know someone wants you and I got that sense from the gaffer. Is that potentially a, a sly dig at my Mark Hughes there, who knows. I came in for the second half of last season and absolutely loved it, so it was a no-brainer for me to come here. Folds will wear the number 23 shirt. Now, it's obviously good to get an undisclosed fee for someone. I don't think it'll be much. It might be 10, 20 grand, something like that. I can't see Harrogate Town's really spending loads of money. And non-league, you don't really, not non-league, in the lower league, especially for normal football clubs that aren't Wrexham, Salford, Gilliam, etc. You know, spend normal transfer fees, but the way that the market's going at this moment in time, who knows? We could have got 5 million for Matty Folds. I think, personally, Personally, to obviously get a theme for someone who 
overall he's pretty average. I think there has been a big overreaction from the fan base because he's obviously a Bradford lad, a Bradford fan, and I think that gives him a little bit of a boost. Say if he plays a 5 or a 6 out of 10, the fans will then rank him up to a 7 or 8 out of 10 just because you want to see him do well and that's what you want to see. Like if Andy Cook has a bad game, no one's going to really say anything because of obviously the outstanding season that he's had. Same with Harry Lewis, but say someone who hasn't performed for the majority of the season or gets a little bit of flack from the fans like a Smallwood or a Gilead, if they have an average game, then that's called a bad game. So if you get what I mean from that point of view, that's why I think Folds gets a lot more praise. Now, don't get me wrong, I quite like Mike, Mike, Mike Folds, and like what I said, I personally think he is better than Liam Rydaug, but I think with Rydaug's experience, he's going to be more happier to be that number two left back, hopefully, because if he's first choice next season, I think that's a big error from the football club, but I think Rydaug will be a better backup than Matty Folds, because I think Rydaug will be, will be able to provide more experience and more leadership to our first choice left back than Matty Folds. Matty Folds seems to be quite quiet and introverted from what you can tell, whereas Liam Rydaug seems to be he's someone who might go up to someone and put their arm around him at least that's the point of view that I get that's certainly the impression that I get if we have a look then at Matty Folds' statistics from the season gone by for both Bradford City and Harrogate Town last season he featured in 39 matches starting 39 of them averaging 88 minutes per game he featured in the team of the week on four occasions he chipped in with two assists one of them was for our second goal away at Tramia the other goal uh, I have no idea which other goal he assisted let me know down in the comment section down below if you know what it was he averages 74 0.8 touches per 90, created two big chances, averaged 1.1 key passes per game with a 61% passing accuracy, 30% of his long balls were accurate, 35% of his chip passes were accurate, and 24% of his crosses were accurate as well, averaging 1.1 of them attempted per game. Now, if we compare that to Clark Adore, who obviously probably won't play left back, but if he does play left back, Clark Adore's average success cross rate was 33% or something like that. So, if we are playing Adore at left back, he's better going forward than Matty Folds. In terms of defensively, though, Matty Folds is very good defensively. He's kept 12 clean sheets in 39 appearances, averaging 1.5 interceptions per game, 3.1 tackles per game and 3.4 clearances per game as well. I don't think there was really any question marks about Matty Folds defensively. There were some about him going forward, but overall I thought he was pretty solid. He was just a bit average and I think when you're wanting to be a team challenging for promotion I don't think you can accept average and that is unfortunately the harsh truth that Matty Folds was pretty average in terms of joules per 90 he averaged 6.5 at total joules winning 61% of them averaging 4.2 at ground joules per 90 winning 62% and 2.3 aerial joules per 90 winning 59% of them he's a very very solid dependable player for a league 2 mid-table side and that is what Harrogate are they were fighting relegation towards the end of the campaign and I do think this is a good sign for Harrogate now I've had a few Harrogate fans comment on the video saying that he didn't overly impress last season and that might be to do with Simon Weaver's style of play. You know, Matty Folds hasn't got an assist there where he got a fair few assists and he even got a couple of goals for us last season as well. I do think, like what I say, he's a pretty solid, dependable left back who's not going to cause you any problems. You know, he's not going to be someone who's causing fuss around the dressing room and all that sort of stuff. You know, he seems like a really nice person, but at the end of the day, nice guys finish last and I don't think he's good enough to play for Bradford City. And that's just my opinion. It's the hard truth of it, but I think we need to be doing better if we want promotion. I think though this was a departure that we all expected to happen, to be honest with you. It makes sense for all parties and I do wish him all the best, genuinely. You know, I thank him for his service over the last two and a half seasons. But here is how the current Bradford City squad is lining up for the 23-24 campaign. Now, you could probably put an asterisk next to Jake Young because he's probably definitely going to move on. Finkels and Dawson, I'd like to see move on as well. Maybe a loan move for Odessina if we're going to play a back four. Clark Adore, I don't know what position he's going to play. If we bring in someone like a Cole Stockton, potentially, which has been heavily rumoured at the moment. I don't know where this has suddenly come from, but Cole Stockton has been massively rumoured. If we bring him on, then what's going to happen... Uh, bring him in, sorry. Then what's going to happen with Matt Derbyshire? Is he going to become a coach? Because you can't have... Cook, Oliver, Derbyshire, Stockton and then you're still going to need to get a pacey striker in and we're going to be happy with five strikers if we're only playing one up front. I'm not really too sure what's going to go on there but as always we'll have to wait and see what happens and all that sort of stuff. Take it day by day as obviously if anything gets announced after 4pm normally I have a video going out every day at the moment at 4pm. If something gets announced after that I'll try and get it out as quick as possible but make sure once you've checked out this video to go check out my League One predictions reaction if you haven't already. I'm going to leave it there though for today's video. If you have enjoyed please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could join it 70 
20 likes. As I said at the start of today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you're new as well. We are now on the road to 8,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on Matty Foles leaving Bradford City for an undisclosed fee to join Harrogate Town. He's signed a two-year contract with the North Yorkshire outfit. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all very soon for another one. Peace.